guys, welcome back to Cooking with Deb. Didn't think you'd see me again. Mm -hmm. No, nah, but um, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update on what I've been up to the past two months. When am I a? No, nah, but um, I've been sick, you guys. I haven't been feeling myself. And um, I was reading all my symptoms on the internet, and uh, that's not the thing to do. I mean, basically, it told me I had all these diseases and I was dying, and I was like, oh my God, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do my book list. Like, dude, that's it, you know? And it's just scary, like, everything online, don't believe what you hear. But, um, then my phone broke, so I don't have the best quality. But I'm gonna try to do my best for you guys. Um,. I miss doing videos for you guys. I hope you guys miss watching them. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how I make my spaghetti and spaghetti why you ask. Everybody knows how to make spaghetti, right? But some people don't. So um, stay tuned, keep watching. Please like and share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, love you guys. All right, you guys, so these are the ingredients I used to make my spaghetti. Not very many, right? But um, the spaghetti, um, this is a pound. You can go by family size, which I have a large family, so usually I'll use two to three pounds of spaghetti. Um, some Parmesan cheese. Um, I got some ragu sauce. It's just meat flavor, but you can get any kind of sauce that you want. Um, you can use ground beef. I'm using meatballs today. You can use turkey or whatever you prefer. And um, I got some Texas toast here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make my spaghetti. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I have some boiling water here that I'm gonna put my noodles in, but first things first, we're gonna wash our hands with soap and hot water. Two minutes. I already washed my hands before this, so. Anybody got no time for two minutes? All right, so I'm gonna get my spaghetti noodles and I'm gonna actually break them in half and I'm gonna add them to my boiling water. All right, you guys, so I was told to put a little bit of salt and a little splash of cooking oil that way it don't stick together. And I'm gonna let this come to a boil. All right, you guys, I'm gonna add my meatballs to the pan. I didn't add any oil because I don't want them to get greasy. I'm gonna add my sauce right away so it could come to a boil and the meatballs cook with the sauce. Now I'm gonna add a half a cup of water. Just to kind of get the rest of the spaghetti sauce out. And I'm gonna use two bottles for this. All right, you guys, now I'm gonna add some garlic salt to this, just a little bit, that way it can have some flavor, not too much. Now I'm gonna let this come to a boil. Right, you guys, and I spray my pan with some non-stick spray. Now I'm gonna put my Texas toast on here. I'm gonna put my timer on for eight minutes. And I'm gonna put it in the oven for 425. All right guys, so every so often you can check your noodles to see if they're soft. And if they are, then you can then strain your noodles. Be careful, cause it's really hot. And then with the meatballs, guys, 
You guys can actually grab one and cut it open to see if it's cooked evenly inside. Because um, you see it cooks pretty fast with the sauce, but you never know, it could be cold in the middle. All right, you guys, you guys know what this means. It's time to serve. Garlic bread, some Parmesan. That, my friends, is how I make my spaghetti.